Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Streamlined. From high school, everyone knows the terms vector and scalar quantities. But engineers also come across another term known as tensors. Today we will try to understand what a tensor is. Let's consider a Cartesian coordinate system. So each direction of the coordinate system comes with coordinate basis vectors or unit vectors. As the name suggests, they have a length of 1 of whatever the main vector is and direction in the direction of respective coordinate axis. So i hat shows the unit vector in x direction, j hat shows the unit vector in y direction and k hat shows the unit vector in z direction. Now we can find the components of our vector. Let's consider a vector capital V in the xy plane. In order to find the y component, we will project the vector capital V on the y axis and similarly for x component. If we put a beam of light perpendicular to y axis on the vector V, we will see the projection or the shadow of the vector V falling on the y axis. Now, if we line the y direction unit vectors along the y axis on the projected length OA, we can find the component y of the vector V. Similarly, if we line the x direction unit vectors along the x axis on the projected length OC, we can find the x component of vector V. So, we can write the vector V as 4i hat plus 5j hat plus 0k hat. That represents the vector capital V. We can find the magnitude of the vector capital V as square root of the sum of the squares of the x and y component. And the direction of the vector capital V as tan inverse of y by x component. Also we can write it in a matrix form which we commonly call it as column vector. So we can generalize the vector capital V as Vx plus Vy plus Vz. Notice each component requires only one index because there is only one directional indicator or basis vector per component. This is what makes vectors tensors of rank 1, one index or one basis vector per component. So scalars can be said as tensors of rank 0 because scalars have no direction indicators so no basis vectors required. Now we will see a tensor in three dimensional space that is stress tensor. Stress as we know is given by force divided by area. If we take a cubical solid element we can see a stress component sigma xx which is normal to the surface in x direction. So this is known as normal stress. As you can see it has two sub index so it has two basis vectors in x direction. There is another component tau xz which is the shear stress having two basis vectors in x and z direction. Tau xy which is the shear stress having two basis vectors in x and y direction. Similarly in y and z axis each will have three components of stresses. So there are nine components of stress which include three normal stress components and six shear stress components. As you can see each of these components have two basis vectors so this is called a tensor of rank 2. Why would someone need this kind of arrangement? Let's say if we have a solid body and we want to find stresses in every possible direction combination, we would need something like this. Like sigma xx shows the x directed force on the surface area whose area vector is in the x direction. Similarly, tau xy shows the x directed force on the surface whose area vector is in the y direction and so forth. So a tensor is an algebraic object that describes a relationship between the sets of algebraic objects related to a space vector. Like you see here the stress tensor is basically a combination of nine different stress components which are related in a vector space. I hope you like this explanation. 
kindly like and subscribe and keep looking for more videos